Now let us discuss about express the Boolean function as a product of max terms or convert POS to canonical or standard POS. Canonical or standard POS means it contains a product of max terms where each max term contains all the variables or literals. So this is the function which is given f of x comma y comma z is equal to x y plus x dash z. This is in the form of sum of products. But here our input should be in POS product of sum. So we have to convert this sum of product into the product of sum with the help of distributive law. Uh, distributive law is a plus b c equal to a plus b into a plus c. So here this is the expression uh, x y plus x dash z. So we can write this as uh, let it be x y means a whereas x dash means b z means c. So we can write this as a plus b x y plus x dash into a plus c. What is a here? x y plus z. Again this is in the form of a plus b c distributive law. Let x dash means a, x y means b c. So what is the formula for a plus b c? a plus b into a plus c. So we can write this as x dash plus x into x dash plus y. Again it is in the form of a plus b. So we can write this as a plus b. So z plus x into, so this is a, this is b c, a plus c. So z plus y, z plus y. We know the formula for uh, uh, a plus a bar. The formula for a plus a bar is 1. So 1 into x dash plus y. Next z plus x. z plus x. Next z plus y. So 1 into anything is equal to that anything only. So here uh, x dash plus y into z plus x into z plus y. If we consider this one, this is in the form of product of sum. So here we are performing product operation, product operation. This is nothing but R operation, product of sum. So let us write that here for space constraints, uh, I am writing here. So x dash plus y, x dash plus y, x dash plus y into x, z plus x that can be written as x plus z z plus y that can be written as y plus z x dash plus y x plus z and y plus z okay so for space constraints i am erasing this portion uh, this is in the form of pos now we need to convert this pos into canonical or standard pos if we observe the first two term uh, here z is missing so for uh, z purpose i am uh, adding zero here why because a plus zero equal to a only so by adding 0 the result won't changes okay so likewise if we observe the second term y is missing for obtaining y i am adding 0 if we observe the third term x is missing for x i am adding 0 next x dash plus y plus in order to obtain z in place of 0 replace it with z z dash because we have a formula a a dash equal to 0 only. So replace 0 by that missing term and its complemented term. So likewise we can write likewise in the second term we have to replace 0 by y y dash. Why because here y is the new term new way uh, y is the new literal or variable that is to be obtained. If we observe the last term we need to obtain x. So you add x x dash. Next this is in the form of a plus b c a plus b c so let x dash plus y means a z z dash means b c b c what is the formula here a plus b x dash plus y plus z a plus b into a plus c x dash plus y plus z dash so likewise this is in the form of a plus b c so x plus z plus y x plus z plus y Next, x plus z plus y dash. 
So, this is also in the form of distributive la a plus b c. So, we can write it as a plus b. So, y plus z plus x next to y plus z plus x dash. Next, if any term is repeating, then we have to write only once. Why? Because we have a formula called a plus a equal to a. If we observe the first two term, x dash plus y plus z, x dash plus y plus z. Yeah, this term appeared twice. So, write only once, x dash plus y plus z. Next, if we observe the second term, x dash y z dash, x dash y z dash. Yeah, here all, yeah, x dash y z dash. Yeah, so we have only one term. So, write the term x dash y z dash. Uh, next, if we observe the, uh, here the third term, x plus z plus y. If we observe the fifth term, y plus z plus x. So, x plus y plus z occurred twice. So, we need to write only once. x plus y plus z. Next one. Next one. x plus this uh, z plus y dash can be written as y dash plus z. y dash plus z. Okay. Uh, so, these are the four terms. So, this is nothing but canonical or standard POS form. If you want, we can write in the form of uh, uh, max terms uh, like uh, decimal numbers. Uh, we know that product of some means, uh, 0 means actual variable, whereas 1 means complement of the variable. In order to know the decimal number, uh, just replace them. So, 0 means actual variable. So, 0 means actual variable. 0 means actual variable. So, so here y means 0. So, 0 means actual variable. 0 means actual variable. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Whereas, 1 means complemented variable. So, 1, so 1 complemented variable. 1, 1. So, now we can write this as pi. So, pi means product operation. So, we know that uh, max term is represented with the help of capital M. So, pi M of, uh, what is the minimum decimal number here? Triple zero in decimal notation is zero. Uh, next we have zero one zero. Zero one zero in decimal notation is two. Next we have one double zero. One double zero in decimal notation is four. Next one zero one in decimal notation is four to one notation. That means five. Five. So in this way we can express the Boolean function as a product of max terms, or uh, we can convert. POS into canonical or standard POS.